Hi everyone, today we're gonna learn about food in Spanish, so la comida. Como hacer las compras del supermercado. So basically going food shopping at the supermarket. First of all, uh, we're gonna learn about vocabulary to buy fruit and vegetables. Actually vegetables and fruit. Um, so we might want to buy garlic, el ajo, and I'm gonna read um, each um, item, each word on the list, just for pronunciation purposes. So we have el ajo, garlic, el pepino, cucumber, la cebolla, onion, el pimiento, bell pepper, espinacas, spinach, zanahoria, carrot, el maíz, corn, la calabaza, squash, calabacín, which is zucchini, zucchini, la berenjena, eggplant, and tomate, tomato. Um, talking about food, and especially fruits and fruit and vegetables, it's important to remember that in Spanish-speaking countries, um, a lot of words have different uh, versions, have different um, ways to call the same, um, same item, such as maíz is also called elote or choclo, depending on the country. So you have a few options here. Moving on to fruit, uh, we have aguacate, which is also called palta in some countries, and it's avocado. Then we have manzana, apple, platano or banana, banana, pomelo or toronja, grapefruit, pera, pear, uvas, grapes, fresa, strawberry, cereza, cherry, ciruela, plum, piña, pineapple, which I find particularly easy to remember because we all know or maybe we have all heard of piña colada, so that's made with pineapple. And then a couple more for fruit, melocotón, peach, which is also called actually durazno in some countries, and albaricoque, apricot. Moving on, um, we might want to buy some fish or meat, so el pescado, fish, or la carne, meat. Um, so in the fish, fish department we might want to buy camarones or gambas, shrimps, langosta, lobster, salmon, salmon, or atún, tuna. In the meat department uh, we have jamón, ham, and different types of meat, such as carne de cerdo, which is basically pork meat, carne de res, uh, which is beef, and then different cuts, such as chuletas, chops, costillas, ribs, carne molida, ground meat, and then even um, other types of uh, meat, actually um, birds, such as pollo, chicken, pavo, turkey, and pato, duck. Uh, we might also want to buy some dairy products or eggs. So, for example, the most basic one would be la leche, milk, or el queso, cheese. And then we have different types of cheese, of course, so we could choose to buy queso de vaca, or de oveja, or de cabra. So, basically cow cheese, sheep cheese, or goat cheese. We also have queso crema, cream cheese, margarina, margarine, mantequilla, butter, uh, crema, or nata, cream, el yogur, yogurt. And finally, of course, let's not forget the eggs, los huevos. Finally, uh, we might need to buy some bread or even some um, beverages. So, el pan, bread, galletas, cookies, churros, same in English, churros, and maybe some refrescos, so soda, sumo de naranja o de manzana, so some juice, fruit juice, orange juice, apple juice. And also, let's not forget about the al alcoholic beverages, such as vino tinto, vino blanco, which is wine, which can be red or white, and also la cerveza, beer. So now we have um, a few lists with new vocabulary, and what we're going to do to test our knowledge uh, is we're going to prepare um, a shopping list. 
We're going to pretend we're going to the supermarket. Vamos a hacer las compras y vamos a necesitar una lista de las compras. And actually, it's not going to be only one list, it's going to be four. We're going to shop for four people who all have different dietary preferences. Um, so we're going to need to include at least six items for each list. And we're going to basically uh, choose them from the lists we have seen so far today. So, numero uno, Laura, que es vegetariana. So basically, we're going to need a vegetarian list. Numero dos, José, que es diabético, so someone who cannot really eat a lot of um, carbs or sweets, um, diabetic person. Numero tres, Luis, que levanta pesas, so an athlete, someone who lifts weights, who works out every day. And numero cuatro, Amalia, que quiere bajar de peso, so she wants to lose some weight. Um, so that's all for today. Thank you very much. See you next time.